In the previous video, you learned about what subnetting is used for. You also learned that there are four octets and 32 bits in an IP address. I also told you about how the binary weight of eight bits is 255. In addition, we learned that the network number is the first number and the broadcast number is the last number in an IP address range. You also learned that the subnet mask can be written in binary form, slash notation form, and bit form. And now we will bring all this knowledge together and use it to calculate our subnet range. For our example, let's say your device has an IP address of 192.168.5.21 with a slash 29 subnet. You can find the subnet IP address range by following three simple steps. The first step is to write your subnet mask in bit form. For every subnet calculation, you will be given a subnet mask. Sometimes it is provided to you in slash notation form like this, slash 29. Other times it is provided to you in binary form like this, 255.255.255.248. Before I show you how to convert, remember there are eight bits in each octet, so four full octet in bit form will be written as this. In our example, we have a slash notation of slash 29. Converting from this slash notation to bit form is fairly simple. I will simply account for one bit per number in my slash notation, counting from left to right like this. I've colored the ones in green. There are 29 of them. Since there is space for 32 bits, I will place a zero in the remaining three spaces. Those are in red. But what if I was given a problem where my subnet mask is in binary form and I was given the following? The same device IP, 192.168.5.21, and the subnet mask in binary form is 255.255.255.248. In order to convert the subnet mask into bit form, I will first need to lay out the binary weight for 8 bits. We went over this in the last video. Again, my subnet mask in binary form is 255.255.255.248. In this mask, the first octet is 255. According to my binary weight, it would take all 8 bits in order to get 255. So the first octet in bit form will be written out as all once, 8 of them. The second and third octet are also full with 255. So the first 3 octet in bit form will be written as 8 ones in each octet, because they're full. But what about the last octet of my subnet mask? It is 248. In order to convert this, I need to determine how many bits out of the 8-bit octet would add up to 248. We will need to add from left to right until we get 248. Let's see. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 equals 248. Because 248 adds up on the fifth bit, the fourth octet in bit form will have five ones, just like this. Now you should know how to convert your subnet mask from binary form or slash notation into bit form. Let's move on to step two. If I lost you, rewind for a better understanding. In step two, we will identify our subnet rounds. In step one, we learn our bit form stopped on the fifth bit. The fifth bit has a binary weight of eight. So we will need to write down rounds of eight. We can write it out like this until we get to 255. Notice the first number in each row lands on increments of our binary weight, in this case, 8s. And now for the final step, step 3. In step 1, you wrote your subnet mask in bit form. In step 2, you identify your rounds using the binary weight of the last full bit. Now in step 3, you will determine which round your device IP address belongs to. That round will be your subnet IP address range. Now it's important to note. You see the first three octet in my subnet mask? You notice how they're full, right? Well, that means the first three octet in my subnet range cannot change. My device IP is 192.168.5.21. So when looking for our range, we will not consider 192, 168, or 5. But the binary for the fourth octet has a range because the fourth octet on our subnet mask is not full. The fourth octet of my device IP is 21. Using the rounds of 8 that I wrote out in step 2, I need to determine which of those rounds the number 21 falls in. My IP address fits in the 16 to 23 round. The IP address range for my subnet will therefore be 192.168.5.16 to 192.168.5.23.
My network number is 192.168.5.16, the first number, and my broadcast number is 192.168.5.23, the last number. Since those two addresses cannot be assigned to devices, I can assign IP addresses to six different devices on this subnet. That's a range from 192.168.5.17 to 192.168.5.22. I know, you will definitely need more practice with subnet and before you can have it mastered. I found a pretty good website. It's called subnetipv4.com. There are other sites like these. They provide you with different subnet problems for you to practice on. Let's do another calculation using the three steps I've outlined. This time, your device IP is 149.119.221.131 slash 19. Run through these steps and tell me your network number, your broadcast number, and your subnet range. In step one, we will convert the slash notation into bit form. Pause and see if you know this. So the bit form of slash 19 is all eight ones in the first octet and the second octet, but the third octet would only have three ones and the rest will be zeros. Step two is to find my rounds. Go ahead and see if you can figure that on your own as well. Okay, the answer is the bits end on the third bit of the third octet. So our rounds will be 32. In step three, our device IP address is 149.119.221.131. From our calculations in step one, we see the first two octet will not change. But the third octet is not full, and that octet will have a range. In the last example, only the fourth octet had room, so pay close attention to this one. The binary weight of the third octet of our device IP is 221. So we are looking for which round 221 falls on, and that is the round of 192 to 223. So our subnet range will be 149.119.192.0 to 149.119. Dot two two three dot two five five. Notice I added two five five at the end of my range because the fourth octet needs to be filled up before the next subnet can start. If I lost you, rewind to make sense of the calculations. Visit a good subnet calculation site and practice to make perfect. See you on the next one.